Hey everyone, this is Bruce Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around is Quackshot, starring Donald Duck for the Genesis or Mega Drive if you're part of the PAL regions, or Japan. Get me uh, away from this demo. Alright, let's press start. Might as well go to options and show you what the controls are. A lets you dash a little bit, just let's... Donald Duck move faster. It doesn't extend the high length of your jump or anything. That's basically it. B lets you shoot, and C lets you jump. And that is basically the controls. D-pad obviously lets you move around. And here's the story. One day, Donald came across an old book in Uncle Scrooge's study. The title of the book was King Garuzia's Great Duck Treasure. According to the book, Garuzio was once the leader of a great duck kingdom. Just before he died, King Garuzia hid his most prized possession in a secret location. Tucked inside the book, Donald found a map showing clues to where the treasure could be found. And Donald gets the idea that if he finds this treasure, he could be richer than Uncle Scrooge. Unfortunately, Pete's gang was spying through the window, they saw everything, and... Now they're going to go after him as he takes the map home, but they all fall in the manhole because they're dummies. Donald takes off with Huey, Dewey, and Louie and ditches a dinner date with Daisy Duck, but Donald's like, hold on, I'll be back, you'll see why. Yeah, way to go, uh... Donald, I'm pretty sure you're going to be friend-zoned for that. Yep, friend-zoned. And of course, Donald takes off in a plane. Pete sends orders to his goons to go after them in a plane of their own. And that is where the game begins. We have three locations. We got Duckburg, we got Mexico, and we got Transylvania. Well, since we have the cursor already on Duckburg, why not? Like that Duckburg is here. Kind of makes this whole adventure take place in the Duck DuckTales universe. And here we go. We shoot plungers at these guys to stun them so they don't shoot at us. And with that chicken, we get to increase all of our health. We start out with five whenever we get a new life, but we can refill it all the way to eight. Apparently, you have to be right on the ladder, like pretty much centered on it in order to climb up or down. We're all right, we got five of these chili peppers here, and that those things increase our uh, rage meter, our little temper meter there, I should say. And when we fill it up, we'll be able to run really fast and go straight through energies. Just plow straight through them. We got peace goons, and we got the worms coming out of the trash can, and we got the guys dropping stuff down from the windows, but they're really easy to take care of. When we make it to the end here, we meet another explorer. And unless we have something to climb that wall with, we won't be able to go any further, so... So much for that. And after talking to this guy, Donald lays down the flag. When you stand near the flag, you should be able to see an icon of the flag flashing in the lower right-hand corner. When you see it flashing, you'll be able to pause the game and call the airplane from the pause menu. This lets you call the airplane and Donald will automatically get in. And we can pick a new location on the map from there. We ain't got much to do in Duckburg, so why not Mexico? And I'll just skip that with the C button if you like. Might as well be very careful with these cacti because they will 
come apart and the segments will hurt you. Ice cream, that gives us one unit of health. The money bags give us points. And what that thing was that the bird dropped was a beehive. Should be noticed that, should be known that the chicken replaces pretty much refills all your health. And we got these little claw crab like bugs with claws tossing these bricks upwards. This lets us get some popcorn, which is used as a five-way shot for the gun, and also get a little hat, which acts as a one-up. Might as well go ahead and get some extra hype, why not? And it's on to the second section! Want to be careful here, because there are more birds that will want to bombard us, as well as those turtles that we saw from the duck bird. They just run around and... If they, if they see you, they will duck into their shell. Make it hard for you to get around. They just got it for some more money. And when we get close enough to the edge, this platform will start moving back and forth. Now we got this little detonator. Walk over it to trigger it, trigger it, and then jump over the series of blasts that it creates. You definitely don't want those things hurting you. Got another detonator here. Jump over that. Go ahead and stun this guy. Not near the chicken, so I'm not gonna go ahead and pick it up. Ah, almost fell down there. And that ba that guy basically ruined all of it for me. Go ahead and get away from this guy while I still can. And great, we got this guy again. Love how Peace Goons just use a gun to shoot tomatoes at you. That's really gonna make any much more of a difference. Anyway, we're past all those moving platforms and we're at this temple. But we need a key to get into these ruins. A team of explorers return to Duckburg with it. It's called the Hero Key. And we're going to have to automatically plant the flag down and then just manually call the airplane and automatically get back in the plane. Well, we actually have something to do in Duckburg now, so let's go ahead and head back to Duckburg. And it takes us straight to this guy. We don't have to go through all that anymore. And Donald asks for the hero key. And after a little bit of discussion, this guy will give us the hero key. Alright, now to walk back to the flag and call the airplane again. Back to Mexico! Talk to her again, and if we use the hero key on the door, we'll be able to get in. Why not? Select the key. Select the use option. Donald will use the key. Walk up to, to the right side of the door, and you should be able to get in. If you don't automatically get in, just walk a little further to the right, and you should be able to do it. We got some fire to avoid, ladders to climb. I love how these things have little skull faces. Has that little Disney level of cuteness to it. Oh. These rings of fire, there is an opening into them. Use that, then just trying to stay in the center of this one until you get another opening. Show up. Go ahead and take the chicken. Because we're gonna need the health. Now these platforms will actually hurt you if you touch them while they're moving. But if you stun with the platform, they won't be able to harm you at all. Which is a good thing. Alright. Alright, we, we were able to make it over that little wall there. Unfortunately, the natives are here and they're trying to throw fire at us. Keep them stunned just to be sure. Now to climb down another ladder. There are some spikes here. Thankfully, they're not instant death. Oh, we got some fire. Again. Once again, wait for the opening. I'm afraid this thing's actually gonna hurt me. 
Okay. Wait for that opening to be like right above that the spikes on the floor just to be safe. I'm pretty sure I was gonna leap right into the spikes. I forgot to mention how to slide because well you're gonna need it here. Hold down, press C. If you're in a already in a in a section like this, just press C. There we go. Got some more popcorn. I usually just hold down while still in the narrow characters just to be safe. This slide does not really work like the one in Mega Man. You don't just slide through a narrow corridor and you stay stuck in the sliding animation until you're, well, out of the narrow corridor, regardless of how long it is. You will have to keep pressing C over and over a couple times. Until you're out. And yeah, I should have been a little further away to keep from getting damaged there, but oh well. Live and learn. Got some more. And I did a little too late, but... A little too early, actually, but... Okay, come on. Bingo! There we go. And we're at the end. Well, we're almost at the end. Alright, now we should be at the end. Alright! And we meet Goofy, who apparently is playing the role of the dumb Taurus here. And he doesn't really give us much of an explanation as to why he's in here at, at a dead end in the center of these ruins, except for, oh, just looking around. He also found a strange note. Unless you have it, since, well, he doesn't know what to do with it. And he also gives you another plunger, which replaces your standard yellow plunger. He mentions that if you shoot it at walls and things, you'll be able to re help you retire areas. Maybe that will help us get further in Duckburg. Speaking of Duckburg, Gyro Gearlos is looking for us. And we get the red plunger and the notes. There's a note here. Use. One sun, two moon, three star. Okay. Pretty sure that will definitely come in handy later. We also got the red plunger. Shoot at a wall, and you can stand on it and use it as a platform. You can also use it to, well, get a little higher and shoot another plunger at the wall and basically create a little makeshift ladder, I guess. And on the way back, all the platforms you use to get up here, they'll be gone. So don't worry about them reappearing and basically making your exit out of here a little hotter than it should. Of course, if you die on the way back, you get sent back to where you found Goofy. Sorry, TASers. But you're not going to be able to kill yourself to save time in order to get out of here, sadly. You might be able to do that in other games, but no, Disney doesn't let you. And of course we have to deal with these guys again. Stun this guy. Stun this guy. And we're... Yeah, we are at the first ring again. So let's go ahead and jump our way past this. And I'm going to wait on this one just to be safe. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and slide so that flame doesn't hit me. And we are now at the airplane flag again. Call the airplane. And head back to Cuckberg. The spore is gone, but we should know what to do by now. Go ahead and use the red plunger and we able to climb up that wall and go to the right. And this sounds like a really good time to stop the game for now. 
Really good to be back in the LP saddle again. And this one looks really good for me to do. Really good for me. Really good game for me to get back into the swing with. So, yeah, that's basically part one of Donald Duck's Quack Shot. Join me next time where we show off more of Duckburg and meet Gyro Gearloo. So, until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!